Hello, and thank you very much for taking a look at our business plan specific for a mobile home park. Uh, very quickly, I'll walk through the document with you and then I'll show you the financial model. It has an automated table of contents, so as you add content, these page numbers will automatically adjust for you. It starts with the executive summary, outlining the operations of your mobile home park. And all the charts and graphs that you see can be modified specific for the needs of your company. Chapter two is an overview of the capital you're looking to raise. Chapter three, an overview of the mobile home park operations. Chapter four is the industry analysis. Chapter five is your marketing plan. Chapter six is the overview of your uh, organization, headcount, and payroll. Again, that can be adjusted as needed. Chapter seven is the financial plan, which is done on a three-year basis and has a profit and loss statement. Cash flow analysis, balance sheet, break-even analysis and business ratios. And then in year one, we break, uh, I'm sorry, then, the, uh, then comes the SWOT analysis. And then in year one, we break down the profit and loss uh, statement monthly. And it's quarterly in year two and quarterly in year three. And the same with the cash flow analysis, broken down monthly for the first year, quarterly in year two, and quarterly in year three. Let me just scroll back up real quick. And here's the financial model. Very easy to use. Pretty much everything is done on this one tab. Uh, right away, you may have noticed this uh, dashboard here. This allows you to see in real time any changes you're making and how it will affect everything else. So for instance, let's change rental income to 36,000 for the first month. As you can see, the dashboard updated and those changes carry throughout everything else as well. If I put it back, the dashboard changed and as did everything else. Um, this lets you uh, ex experiment with different scenarios. You can add revenue streams, you can adjust your expenses, your yearly growth rate can be modified there. From there, you put in your salaries and your headcount and out comes your payroll table. Source of funds goes here, use of funds goes there. Uh, and once you do that, out comes your profit and loss statement, cash flow analysis, balance sheet, uh, those expanded profit and loss statements you saw at the end of the plan, same deal with the cash flow analysis, revenue overview, loan amortization table, tax assumptions, your break-even analysis, and your business ratios. And that's essentially it. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach us anytime. We're always more than happy to help. And thank you for taking a look. Take care.